Today, we're going to talk about the core insurance agency technology and automation tools that every insurance agency should use. We've got a lot of stuff to go over, so I'm not going to waste a lot of time with intros and all that kind of stuff. You guys are on the webinar, so obviously you know who I am, you know what my company is all about, you know what we do. So we are here to mentor and train. Those of you that are not familiar with how we actually do the mentoring and training, this is not a sales pitch. <clears throat> if you're going to buy something from me, it's because I actually solved a problem that you have, not because I convinced you to try to figure out if I'm going to solve your problem. So this is not a sales pitch. This is a pure training program that we do, okay? So first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that everyone understands that every individual tool, task, or process that Inspire Nation recommends as a best practice had to generate or save an agency at least $1 million in a 36-month period. So there's no fluff. We don't talk about maybe, maybe someone should try this down the road. I heard this is all stuff that my group of 160 plus agencies, along with many of our members, we've researched, we've tracked, We've made sure that this actually works. So everything that we're going to talk about has made or saved at least a million dollars in a 36-month period. You're probably wondering, what technology does Inspire Nation recommend to work the best practices? No, we are technology agnostic. So what that means is that we don't care what tool or service you use to work our best practices. We just need that task completed correctly and efficiently. So if we say text messaging, I don't care if you use Google Voice, I don't care if you use your AMS to text message, I don't care if you use easy texting or, or one of these other texting programs, I don't care. All I care about is that when the situation requires a text message, requires a text message reply, requires that text message to be automated, that that can actually happen. So let me say again, we are technology agnostic. We don't care what tool you use as long as that tool does what we need it to do. There are 19 core agency automation tools and practices that we'll discuss today. I'll try to get to as many of these as I can. My goal is to get to all 19 and then have a couple of extra ones out there, but I'm going to answer questions and do things like that. So I'll get to as many as I can. There's a Raider, an agency management tool, a business phone system, an email tool that allows you to store and easily send the 11 main email templates that Inspire Nation recommends, the electronic business card or an electronic business card, a drip email tool that is trigger-based and it's uh, based on pre-selected events, a password management tool, a text message tool, an appointment scheduler, an electronic signature tool, a declined coverage form, a Google testimonial, a bit.ly link shortener, video recording tool for desktop, mobile, or tablet, a conference call or webinar tool, an agency hotline, YouTube channels and videos, agency website, of course, and we also want to talk about chat bots and virtual assistants. So again, we got a lot of stuff to go over. Don't want to waste a lot of your time. We just want to get right into what we're going to talk about. Everything that you do with automation and technology is designed to make you scalable and free. Because scalability and freedom go hand in hand. Now, what does that mean? That means that until your technology, your automation, your processes are stronger than your people, your business can't be scalable and you can't have mental or physical freedom. I'm going to read that again because that's a very important statement. If you guys are screen capturing or writing something down or whatever, make sure you get this. Until your technology, automation, and processes are stronger than your people, your business can't be scalable and you can't have mental or physical freedom. You can't even go on vacation because you're not sure if your people are doing what you need them to do. You can't go and say, oh, let me go to sleep. Let me just go to sleep at night in peace because you're wondering if your team took care of everything that you needed to take care of. Until your technology, automation, and processes are stronger than your people, you're not going to have that kind of freedom. So what should you expect from this session? Well, over the next hour, I'll, I'll introduce you to the Core 19 technology and automation tools that the partner agencies of the Williams Family Investment Group, 
that we utilize to produce over a billion dollars a year in new and renewal premium. As I said, I have a 660 plus partner agencies and we track everything they do. Because for us, everything is about a business habit. My automation, my technology, the way my people talk, the processes that we do, everything is about developing a business habit because a business process is just a fancy way of saying a business habit. And most insurance agencies, most businesses in general could grow five times faster if they developed more effective business habits. So let's get started. Again, 19 core insurance agency automation tools. I'm going to go over these again. I'm going to ask you to take a poll and tell me how many of these you think you have in place. So we have a Raider agency management tool, business phone system that can that can be a basic system or a fancy one with a lot of bells and whistles, but we, but we need a, a business phone system. An email tool, an electronic business card, a drip email tool, a password management tool, text messaging, appointment scheduler, electronic signature, decline coverage, Google testimonials, bit.ly link shortener, video recording tool, conference call or webinar tool, agency hotline, YouTube channel, and agency website. These are the core 19. So let me open up this poll. How many, I'm gonna launch the poll now. How many of the 19 listed technology tools are you actually utilizing in your agency? For those of you that are first timers, this is a live poll. So take your cursor, go up to the appropriate answer, click on the answer and it will register. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close and I'm gonna share the results with you. Looks like 9% of you say you have 15 to 19 of these. 26% of you say you have 11 to 14, 43% say six to 10, and 23% say one to five. Here's what I'll tell you. Each one of these tools that is not in place is costing you money, okay? It's costing you money. 